Hello everyone, we are from USM School of Aerospace Engineering with project title of Optimizing Surveillance Protocol by Using Unmanned Aerial System in Forest. Now, let's start. Malaysia's forests are the natural habitats for terrestrial biodiversity including wildlife mammal-like tigers. However, according to World Wildlife Fund, there could be as few as 250 Malayan tigers left in the forest due to poaching and illegal logging. Hence, unmanned aerial vehicle UAV provide an alternative solution for the monitoring of wildlife animal in forests to solve the problem. Basically, there are two types of UAV based on their physical feature. One is known as fixed wing UAV and the other one is known as rotary wing UAV which commonly known as quadcopter. Fixed wing UAV has good flight endurance due to its high aerodynamic efficient design, but it is difficult to take off and landing in restricted space, for example in forest, even though, catapult equipment is invented to help it for takeoff. The equipment is still redundant to bring along, on the other hand, quadcopter has very good maneuverability coupled with its vertical takeoff and landing feature. It is very suitable to work in restricted space, however, it has relatively lower flight endurance compared with fixed wing UAV and it will start to descend when running out of battery. Hence, we came out with an idea which combined the advantages of both of them to become a hybrid version of UAV which called HUAV. HUAV is able to vertically take off and switch its flight mode into cruising mode and then land it vertically. This combined advantage features make it versatile in surveillance mission. In model-based design, the support package for Arduino and Simulink provides interface between Arduino hardware and Simulink for controller design. Therefore, the flight control algorithm of HUAV is built by using Simulink. For the controller part, it consists of an Arduino Mega 2560 together with a DIY controller shield for compatible connection with the IMU sensor NPU6050 to provide HUAV's orientation data for the system to perform self-balancing. Meanwhile, the RC receiver allows the user to control the HUAV's motion by using an RC transmitter. With the designed control system, HUAV is able to switch its flight mode from VTOL mode to forward cruising mode and vice versa. From the video, all the control surfaces and motors are functioning well. For flight test, HUAV is able to hover in stable position, rolling left and right, and pitching forward and backward. HUAV is loosely tightened with rope for safety purpose. In addition, HUAV has a video recording function by using Raspberry Pi and its camera module which allows the user to monitor the environment from the bird's eye view. With the Wi-Fi dongle, HUAV is able to perform real-time monitoring by sending the video or images back to ground station. In the video, HUAV is able to clearly capture the image of a toy with 7 centimeters at a height of 1.6 meters. If the toy is replaced by a tiger with length of 2 meters, HUAV is able to capture it with the same resolution at a height of 45.7 meters. Besides, HUAV is equipped with current sensor, barometric pressure, temperature, altitude sensor and inertia measurement unit, and the RF transceiver are sending all the sensor's data through wireless communication to ground station. Here, the ground station is displaying the real-time HUAV's orientation data in MATLAB GUI which allows the users to know the HUAV's flight statuses such as rolling, pitching and yawing angles as well as the environmental condition. Hence, users are aware about real-time flight condition of HUAV and able to avoid some of the mistakes during operation. In addition, the ground station has implemented a path planning algorithm in GUI to generate the optimal flight path prior to flight. In this GUI, users can manually input the estimated flight velocity and waypoints of UAV's flight path to determine the shortest flight distance and time. Likewise, users can also select the predefined waypoints in GUI menu to determine the optimal flight path under full coverage area. For the application, the HUAV has the potential to be used for surveillance purpose to monitor the traffic in cities, as well as for monitoring of the endangered animal species and forest. In term of military purpose, HUAV replaced human being for the reconnaissance in high-risk places. Hence, it greatly reduced the loss of human life in executing various kind of dangerous missions. By looking at HUAV's applications, we can clearly see that it has a very high potential in term of market growth. According to the Association of UBS International, the annual sale of unmanned vehicle will be projected from 40,000 units in year 2015, all the way up to 125,000 units in year 2020. This increasing trend gives us a message that HUAV will have high commercial value due to its multifunctionality. As a summary of this video, we have proposed an unmanned aerial system which consists of HUAV and a ground station. HUAV with self-balancing capability is used to capture real-time images and collect environmental data then send to ground station. Meanwhile, ground station is providing the optimal flight path for HUAV to fly through. That's all from us, hope you guys enjoy. Please give like to support us.